favor is, yeah, just take out the camera, just stare at me for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. So, we've been away, we've been on the road now for like seven days, forever, it seems like. Um, and during that time, I've had to be away from my, my lady friend, my girlfriend, Lydia. Um, so, everybody say hi, Lydia. Hi. hi. Awesome. So I'm Mostly darkness, but... Yeah, I'm gonna read <laughs> <laughs> These are the ghosts who live in Las Cruces. Uh, <laughs> this is a poem for Lydia. It's called Gentle. Driving Bill to the airport, he pointed out the window. Cormorant, he said, and I turned long enough to catch a glimpse. The bird above a smokestack, above the discount mattress store where I've never seen a single car. The sky's auburn star flared russet on its back. It was beautiful, Lydia the bird, but also the way he named it, like he couldn't hold the word's weight once he'd spotted it. Only a night since Bill opened his book in the bar haunted by smoke to read about his daughter, Ute, he said, Unheimlich, and later asked could one of the dogs stay with him, the corgi named for a lover of nightingales. He's a man who knows his bedfellows, you said. I'm an oar held in streams of dawn. Now only 8 a.m., and the stars already cleared my hands, newly anemic. To crave language is to love another thing. My friend, not the many faces I can no longer conjure. Sweet one, not you, eyeing a curler as it coils into helix. Watched you naked before the mirror, and what word a match for you? My amaretto, my star-bitten bird. Bill removes his glasses, rubs his eyes, swallow-tailed kite, how amazing he points, and means the bird, or tell me, can he mean the word? It slowly 